Hello and welcome to part 3 of modeling latent variables in OpenMX. In this video we will be modeling a latent variable model with multiple latent variables. Before we do that we need to understand why we fix certain values in a latent variable model to 1. This is because this path diagram has one more unknown variable than equations. Indeed, any time we create a latent variable, we are adding another unknown to these systems of equations. To solve this, we fix some estimated parameter to 1 in order to have an equal number of unknowns and equations in our system. We can either fix a factor loading to 1, thus creating a latent variable that exists in the same units as the variable this path loads on, or we can fix the latent variable's variance to 1, this creates a latent variable which exists in standardized units. This same concept holds true when creating models with multiple latent variables. We can either fix a loading of each latent variable to 1, or we can fix each of the latent variances to 1. Notice that if we do this, the covariances between the latent variables are now interpreted as correlations. Let's create this model in OpenMX. First, we will load our data and set the names of our manifests. As you can see, we have nine variables. We are going to create three latent variables with these nine manifest variables. We will call these latent variables F1, F2, and F3. We will then create our model as shown here. This is a RAM type model. Here we will model the paths from each factor to their respective manifest variables. Next we model the error variances of our manifests. Then we model the variances of our latent variables. In this model I am setting these values to 1 and setting free to false. Because we specified the model in this way, when we go to model the two-headed arrows between our latent variables, we are modeling correlations instead of covariances. Finally, we model the means of our manifest variables and close our model with an MX data statement. Now we can run this model and use the MX ref models function to obtain our fit values. Our model appears to have estimated everything we wanted. Now to see if this model fits our data. First we examine the chi-squared statistic. If this value indicates a good fit, then we really do not need to look at the other values. However, this model has a significant chi-squared value, indicating a poor fit. But the chi-squared statistic is not perfect and is sensitive to large sample sizes. Here we have 300 observations so we should really be looking at the other fit indices. Indeed, we have a very high CFI and TLI, as well as a low RMSEA value. All these indicate that this model does have a good fit to our data, despite a significant high squared value. And this is all there is to modeling multiple latent variables in OpenMX. Thanks for watching.